Casey, congratulations on the film. Um, you originally were an actor yeah. in movies and TV. So what took you down the road of directing and writing? Well, it's a little bit of a long, you know, Byzantine um, some path, but I went to, at a certain point, I, something, you know, I was, I was black girl best friend a lot, you know? And even though I loved those roles and um, I had a really good time, I felt like I had more to give and something was missing, so I went to film school. And I, when I went to film school, I thought I was gonna make documentaries. At the same time, I was a writer. I've always been a writer. I've been writing since I was a kid. And so when I came out of film school, I started really, really focusing on my writing career. And um, Eve's Bayou was the first script that I wrote by myself. I had written with other people. And even at first, I didn't know that I was gonna direct that one, but um, I decided one day that I should direct that because I was having a hard time getting it made. And so that's the way it kind of worked out. And we're in a time of lots of superhero movies. And actually, I guess that's a really good way of describing Harriet herself, yeah. a sort of la latter day um, superhero, a little bit of a Captain Marvel, really, yeah. somebody who's easy to underestimate. Was that the sort of impression and effect you were aiming for with yeah, the yeah, film? Yeah, absolutely. It was what we were going for. We thought it was appropriate to the story. It didn't need to be imposed on it. It felt really inherent in the material and in doing research on her. It's like, oh no, she was a superhero. She was a superhero. And it's hard to, ima it's hard to imagine. So that's what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to be able to access her motivations. You know what I mean? And Harriet herself is a natural leader. Mm -hmm. Do you see any of that in in yourself as a director and perhaps a, a figure for aspiring directors to, to look up to? Yes, as, and um, I'm an educator and a mentor and I work a lot with young filmmakers and um, definitely, you know, I, I see myself in, in a leadership role. So what women directors have inspired you? Any particular favourite films from them? God, there's so many. I mean, the, I mean, there really are so many. Early on in my career, I was very much inspired by uh, Uzan Palsi. I was very much inspired by um, by uh, Jane Campion. I was very much inspired by Julie Dash when she did Daughters of the Dust. Um, I, there are a lot of women. I love Catherine Bigwell. I love it. You know, there are a lot of women directors that I I like quite a bit. Gina Prince Bythewood is one of my favorites. She's she's one of my friends, and uh, she's awesome, an awesome director. And finally, what are you hoping that people will take away from Harriet once they've seen it? Well, I hope it's inspiring. I hope it's exciting and inspiring and activating, you know, that um, that young people can especially can really realize like what they might be able to do if their courage outweighs their fear. Thank you very much indeed, Casey. Thank you.